So we're in the midst of organizing a ladies cycling event here in Switzerland at the end of April, April 29th. And we've been reaching out to Swiss companies, looking for some partnerships, trying to get our hands on some prizes to give away to our participants. And one of our team members, Nedu, has these sunglasses from a Swiss company called React. And she will not shut up about them. Like every time I see her, she's like, oh, you know, they're so great, blah, blah, blah. So I check out the website and I found out that actually the parent company of React started off in the welding industry and created an auto darkening technology for welding masks. They're now the leading brand in, in safety and in face protection. And so they've created these sunglasses as a way of bringing that technology to the masses, which I think is really, really cool. And the whole premise is that our eyes take quite a long time to adjust to light. And of course, we're very sensitive to harmful UV rays and the glasses are supposed to help in that they do a lot of that work for you and they adjust very quickly um, to changing light conditions. So the glasses should tint and detint in like the snap of a finger. And I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but in Switzerland, the weather changes like this. And sometimes you leave the house in the morning and it's cloudy and as you ride, <laughs> the sun comes out and then you're like blinded because you took the wrong lenses in your sunglasses. And so I was looking at this website and I was like, wait, this could be the solution to have just one pair of sunglasses for everything. So I reached out to them to see if they'd be willing to give some prizes for our upcoming hive ride. And they were super excited about our mission to empower more women on and off the road or on and off the bike. And were very gracious and sent us a few pairs to give away at our event, which we're super stoked about. So I'm now filming this unboxing, which is my first time doing anything like this. One, I wanna capture my own reaction to trying the glasses for the first time. Two, we're very grateful to React for sending us these. So we wanna do our part in educating a little bit about the product and also just testing it for ourselves to see does it work like it's supposed to? How does it fit on the face? Um, how does it compare maybe to other glasses that we have experience with? So as far as from what I can tell on their website, they have one model of sunglasses with different color options. So the lenses are different colors and some different color accents on the frames. So one of them is the amber glasses um, and Nedu has those and the onyx, which is the black. Um, and a friend of mine actually just got these like last week and we went on a ride together and I was like, are those React? She's like, yeah. And actually she had been with Nadu and <laughs> Nadu's ambassadorship, inadvertent ambassadorship paid off. So she got those. So I'm gonna leave these in their boxes, packaged nicely for the lucky winners at our event, the lucky participants. And I'm gonna be opening up the Octray Sky. So a very simple packaging to start off, all black with a little bit of like reflective logo react and then we just have on the sticker that it's swiss made the color choice the batch and a few other details there i'm not a graceful opener like whenever i get mail i think there's like two ways to open mail one is to like slit the top of the envelope as you would and the other is just to tear it recklessly and that's what i would normally do I'm just gonna go cut this so that I don't destroy anything. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I've cut the sticker now. <laughs> Real time here. <laughs> I'm so nervous, actually. I'm like sweating. I don't know if you can see this. Whoa! It's like a cool triangle shaped um, case. I guess that's upside down. Wow, super posh. I will say actually something that drives me crazy with sunglass cases is how bulky they are. And actually I really like this kind of like a compact version. And you know what? It just occurred to me. It's because you don't have any other lenses here because you don't need them. The lens changes or should change the tint itself. Less lenses, less box. Okay, so I got some other cases just for comparison. So that's one with two lenses. This is one with one. Comparatively, this one is actually smaller. Here we have another, this is like kind of a standard sunglass case. So I'd say it's it's on, on par with those. This has also two lenses. That's pretty significant, I'd say. And finally another one. So that's a big, a big difference, but it appears to be the fact that there are more lenses in these other ones. 
Quick break, this is future me editing myself into this part of the video because it pertains to this case. And I realized that you can collapse it basically into the size of your phone, which means this is revolutionary, sorry for swearing, that you can fit it low key into your jersey. I mean, this is just brilliant. And honestly, it's such an indicator of kind of like the intelligence that goes into this product design. And it really sets the bar. I don't know, I'm feeling like suddenly very passionate about this, but it really sets the bar to like another level. Before I get too excited and, and open the case, let me just check out this little pamphlet, user guide. Classic like never would read this, but <laughs> making this video, so feeling obligated. So it's just some kind of a, a visual explaining the parts of the glasses. Um, so these glasses should have a sensor here, and then it changes the tint, shade level gradient, 4% and 20% tint. So those are the two shade ranges we should be getting. They are impact resistant, but not unbreakable. Good to know. Okay, the suspense. Wait, so here we go. Ooh la la. There they are. Wow, quite small. Like in comparison to some other glasses that I have. Kind of feels like cycling glasses are getting bigger and bigger all the time. So it comes, in a, comes with a baggie. And I guess that's also the cloth that you should use. Wah! Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, I'm nervous to put these on, but we're gonna go for it. Wow, the lens is really, feels like a very thick, sturdy lens. So there you can see the, the sensor. And it's interesting because like now as I have it close up to the camera, it's quite translucent. But let's see how it goes. Whoa, okay, that's cool. I'm into it. I'm into it. Yo, that's actually sweet. First impression, I'm not mad. Um, let me do like a realistic pony. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. The size here feels good. That's always something like I have some glasses that just constantly slip down. Whoa, I gotta say the lens quality feels really good. And I mean, that's what it's all about. They have like a bit of a weight to it. I mean, it's not heavy, but it just feels like, I guess, I don't wanna say this, but like, it just doesn't feel like plastic. Let's put some bangs out. <laughs> Yo, I'm super into them. They feel, I just really like the feeling. God, the glass is just so, so elegant. Wow. Glass feels so good. I love, I actually have some, for some reason, I love the weight of them. That's tight. Let me just give you more of a tour. If you can see what I see. Uh, yeah, sweet. There, now you can see that kind of layered glass in there. Okay, I've been playing around with the lighting conditions here and determined that I'm not gonna be able to somehow showcase or test the way it changes in the light under these conditions especially since I'm not 100% sure if it's like strictly UV sensitive or if it somehow adapts to artificial light. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm not like a professional reviewer. I just wanted to show and try on these glasses for the first time. I was getting stoked. I gotta say like I'm having a good time wearing them. <laughs> I will send like a follow-up once I actually get to go riding in them. It is pouring rain outside all, all weekend actually. Um, and so once I can also try them on with my helmet, I'll be pretty interested for that. But based on what I've seen from the other girls, it seems to fit pretty well. Like, here's something. Let me, let me take it with me here. It is shit weather. Raining, clouding all day, clouding. <laughs> Would I wear these glasses? To be honest, I think the Viz is pretty good. I wouldn't feel stressed about having these glasses on and this visibility. Mind you, it's not like totally foggy. But I'd say it's, it's basically feels, this is so dumb, like I'm so not a professional. I would say it basically feels like my vision with more contrast. Anyways, I'm just talking shit now. I don't know. God, I really wish I could show you like the full effect of this. That's so mind, mind blowing. Yeah, that's legit crazy. I'm gonna just keep playing with this all day long. That's so nuts. Okay. 
I think next week should have this kind of like mixed overcast sunny weather. So I'm pretty excited to test that out then. I'm not getting paid to say this, but I gotta say, and I don't know if it's just cause I never had like a polarized lens before, but the lens is next level. It's been uh, like pretty, pretty variable conditions. A bit of fog, a um, bit of sun, like overall pretty bright. And I'm super stoked. To be honest, I think I'm not gonna be able to go back to like my other shitty glasses, so. Based on that, the only thing I would be a little bit nervous about is what happens when water, like when rain comes onto the lenses. Um, oh, that's my belly, I gotta go eat. <laughs> Super long winded unboxing, my first unboxing. I'm excited about having these to raffle off for our prizes during the next high ride. And I'm really grateful for the partnership with the folks at React. I don't know. I don't know what else I should say. Thank you for watching this unboxing. Okay, I just wanna add something because I've been walking around the house now and I still have the glasses on and I'm like texting. And I'm actually really impressed with that I'm wearing the sunglasses indoors, but it doesn't feel too dark. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to add that. Okay.